Yo, so you already know I the most hated interview show. And I'm in New York City. And I saw the thing set up in the girl them wet up. So right now we have two guests. Special guests, you know what I'm saying? Every guest that come on the show is a special guest. For me, I'm gonna try to introduce ourselves. John Flacco. Like a love you are. Yes, sir, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You got them in the building. For me. How y'all day so far? How y'all day going? Gucci, Gucci, man. Calm, calm. Day, take the pain away. All right, took that shit, took that shit. <laughs> for me, um, for me, how was the commute? Yeah, ain't the commute, right? Cause I ain't gonna, ain't gonna release a location, location, but we here. Yeah. For me, commute was too crazy, right? Yeah. Bet, bet, bet. I bet. So, for me, just give us a little background. You know what I'm trying to say? Your age. You know what I'm saying? Where you from? <laughs> uh, I'm 21. Mm-hmm. Crown Heights. I mean. Gotcha. I grew up, in, I, grew up I'm, I spent some of my life in Crown Heights. I really was all over the place. I had my time in Far Rock in my life. But I'm from Crown Heights. All right, bet, bet. My boy. Mm-hmm. Facts, I'm from <laughs> Crown Heights too. Moved to the bush. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Um, I'm 20. Soon be 21. April coming. Okay. Yeah. Facts. Well, we don't even say it's time for me. That's a fact. So, but, hey, so, for me, what first got you into music? I ain't going to front my peers, honestly, my individual, like, around um, MS-61 days, middle oh, school. Yeah, yeah, like, you feel me? I seen, like, you feel me? It was actually, like, Nas and them. Mm. You feel me? I seen boy, you feel me, making tracks, shit with Flock. Yeah. But it's still like, oh, word. That's, that's when it was going crazy back, back in the city. That's when it was at the top of the city back in those days. Facts, And then I seen another individual in pairs do it. So I'm like, oh, yeah. So then I started, from me, remember SBR? Yeah. You remember them times? Mm-hmm. So that's when we had started that little SBR group and shit where all of us young come together, we make tracks, posted it, and that shit was getting good. You feel me? Right. Getting plays on SoundCloud and shit like that. Like, we was only about 15, 14, and we getting like 30K plays on SoundCloud just for me. Yeah, yeah, that's some shit, yeah. So after that, that's what really got me in my bag with this shit. Like, all right, right. this shit could go somewhere. Got you, got you. All right, what first got you was the music? Wow. You know, I was young. Mm-hmm. I used to be in school. I used to be with the homies. We used to just, you know, rap, you know, on some stupid shit, just freely, mm-hmm. you know. But I, I used to have a little rhythm or a flow that used to tell me, you know. So I had moved to Georgia. I met, I met somebody I used to be cool with, you know. Right. He heard me rapping or whatever. He put me in the school for the first time. That's when I started it for me. We had, we did a little song. It was I. Right. People were jacking it. People was telling me, you know, I had some talent or whatever. I mean, I had him call me all the way from New York. Okay. Like, yo, yo oh, so, so, we, so I was about to ask you next time. Where y'all met? Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, okay, got you, got you. Oh, okay, got you, got you. All right, so when y'all do, y'all start making music together then. All right, so, but nah, for me, I'm just chilling one day. I'm chilling one day, then I seen this nigga around like, you could say three, three years ago. It's 2021, so around like 2017. You feel me? Just turned 2021. Blessings that we all made it here. Right, you know that's a fact though. Shit was um, crazy. But yeah, 2017, I seen them post uh, a snippet on Facebook. I'm listening. I'm like, what the fuck is shit? Because he's wilding. He's wilding. Yeah, like, right. he's wilding. So I'm like, for me, I called them. Yo, you rapping? Where, bro? Send me everything. I'm hearing it. I see the potential, OD potential. I'm like, yeah, bro, right. keep pushing. You feel me, bro? Niggas can really do this shit. We can really make it if we keep pushing. Right, right, right. All right, bet. Got you. So, um,. Let's see. So, so who, so, so like, like building up for that, that question, question too, like, like who, who, who was, was the person that inspired y'all to make music? I mean, I mean you, you said, said it was your man too, though. though. And you said it was your man. I mean, yeah, but rappers and all that too. You feel okay. me? Okay. Like little baby. If you, me? right, like, if you had to put one, one person, though, like, like one, one person, person that really was the person giving you that push or that influence. I mean, for me, that's how I I like, I like I like rappers that's you know out there already mainstreaming and all that, but I don't know. As I got older, I started liking who's the rappers who's trying to make it mm-hmm. rather than the rappers that's right, there. Right, right, right. I like I like I like hearing what I'm going through. We all going through. You feel me? We can relate rather than you got all these cars that I don't know nothing about. You feel right, me? right, right. You feel me? So I just like, but you know, I used to I used to Lil Wayne. Right. I, used to be I ain't gonna lie, Lil Wayne, back in fucking uh, elementary, elementary school days, I, I keep thinking we could curse on this show, it's my show. <laughs> back in Lil Wayne days, in the motherfucking, back in the day, bro, Lil Wayne was the, was a god, bro. That nigga, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Play with something, seriously. Something crazy. Feel me? So, um, I'm gonna watch the next one. 
I already answered that one. Um, how would you describe the music y'all typically create? I mean, as of right now, the music that we make, you could say it's motivational, you feel me? You'll throw it on and it will just get you on your back to, you feel me? Like, just don't give up on whatever you're doing, you feel me? Right. Keep doing it, you feel me? Eventually, mm. your time is going to come. Yeah. And it's going to be your time to shit and getting it back, you feel me? Yeah. I agree with that. Motivational music, nigga, you feel me? Mm-hmm. I, especially that last track on that child, that child. Yeah, yeah Nightfall. Nightfall. That shit. You, you can listen, listen to it. It's some hype shit, shit too, but if you listen, it's like, hold on, I think it's not even. Y'all talk about some motivational shit, shit really getting yeah, it. So I was like, yeah, y'all know shit, facts. Yeah, feel me? So, what, um, so like, if you were to put it in the genre though, like, what would it be? I don't, I don't know, man. It's, uh, you don't, you don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to necessarily. I definitely, I definitely don't want to say it's drill for me because right. I wouldn't consider it drill. Right, right, right. You know, but I don't know. I guess, but in a way, I guess, you know, Lil Durk, he, he got this new genre coming out called Drill Soul. Okay, yeah, the drill, the, the singing drill. Yeah, okay. The drill soul. I'll push, I'll push it more towards the drill soul yeah. rather than just the drill. Yeah, I feel like I feel like rap nowadays, they, they really bend it in genres now. Yeah. Where it's like borderline R&B and like rap. Like literally in the same song. Yeah. Feel me? All right, cool. Fuck with that. Um, let's see. So, so what, what is y'all, like, creative process, process like? like? I'll let y'all go separately, separately for this question. question. What's, What's your creative process, process like? like? Mac 11. Like, like, honestly, so sometimes shit just be happening. Like, you talking about and making a track, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, in general, like, 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 like what, what gives was like, sometimes I'll be like, what gives you the idea to make a track? Or, like, what gives you the idea to a track? Honestly, bro, the reason why, why Lamont didn't feel like he's gifted, bro, because the shit just be coming, honestly. Like, gotcha. for example... That nightfall track that we did, right? Mm-hmm. This shit, it wasn't even planned, honestly. Like, he found the beat. Right. And we just playing the beat around me. I'm like, yo, that shit flock. Send that. Yeah. He was arguing. So, for me, on some petty shit, you feel me? Right, right. He was just playing the game. He was playing 2K. Right. So, I'm bothering him. Yo, yo, send the beat, send the beat. Right. And I'm not trying to send it because we just had a little argument. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. We took it to after. So, I took right. his phone. I got the beat myself. Okay, you okay. Me? So, I went in the other room. You feel me? And I'm just, I, the title of the beat was Hustle. Okay. So that's how I came about. I had to hustle, nigga, you feel me? Right. And then he had his own shit. So now, when we, when I said, yo, I, had a, I got a hook. He was like, I already got a hook. You feel me? So mm. <laughs> I be like, all right, let's see what's going on here. Right. Let's see, see which one. Yeah, you know. You got to the corner. Yeah, in fact, as he's saying his shit, his shit ended with, um, came to my senses and I realized, I realized, and then my shit started, I had to hustle, nigga. Okay, yeah, that's fine right there. So like, when we noticed that, we like, what the fuck? Track, track gun, track gun. Track gun, you feel me? That's the hook right there. I have my verse and shit here. I have verse right. track gun, you feel me? Damn, that's fire, though. So that's what I'm saying. Shit just be coming up off the top, and shit don't even be met sometimes, you feel me? No, it's not hard, really, when you know you speaking what's really going on. Like, when you really speaking the facts and what you're going through, it's not really hard, you know? It's just... Find that flow. Gotcha. Put, put that together. So, so yeah, I think y'all yeah, creative process is like kind of the same. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Gotcha. Um. So, so it's like like, like going with the artist question. question. Like, which, which signed artist or unsigned artist would y'all most like to work with? Um. Low baby. <laughs> Eli said that too. He said baby. He said couple of niggas and Derek and shit. Mm. Yeah, definitely Derek. But like the unsigned too is definitely unsigned. Like Stunner. Mm-hmm. I'll do a track for Stunning and Bino, Flocking. Um, yeah, shout out to her, man. Shout out to her. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, feel me? Facts, you feel me? Like, a lot of unsigned artists that's fire in Brooklyn, I'll definitely love to get up and make music, you feel me? Because mm-hmm. it's all about networking, you feel me? And you feel me? Yeah, okay. So, gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. All right. I mess with that. Um, who would you open the show for? Oh, yeah. I'll open the show for Lil Baby. Open the show for Dirt. Mm-hmm. Cool. Pool shy Steve. Okay. What other times I have other than music? Or you wouldn't even kind of John, you wouldn't even probably say it's a talent. I mean, I feel like it is a talent. I know how to flows with shit. You feel me? I could get better on my um like the bars, come harder with the bars, but it's really the flows for me. Okay. So um but um other talent bro, shit, making money. Guys, what about you? <laughs> shit, I used to hold. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, used to. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wasn't a, I wasn't a baller, man. You know, 
I was, I was a, a footballer, football, man. You know what I mean? You're not lying, though. Football, you that one always had it. Yeah. <laughs> I was, yeah, facts. I usually just hooped up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Go on. So if you was a rapper, you'd be in the NBA right now? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of work to get there. I'll be working, working towards it, though. You feel me? All right. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Got got All right. Um, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Yo, um, yeah. So, uh, have y'all performed? Nah. I performed? Nah. Y'all, y'all, y'all looking forward to it? Yeah, facts. All right. Oh, dude. All right, so, so if y'all had a song to perform, it could be, it could be, it could be, it could be um, singles all could be together. What song would it be? Well, yeah, Nightfall. Nightfall. I ain't gonna front like that song right there. It give me chills every time, bro. Oh, Got gosh, you. It's just that song. How, How you gonna listen to it and not relate? Right. And not even jack the like. Right. No cocky shit. It's just right, right. Like, you feel me, bro? It's real shit. You feel me? Yeah. No dissing. There's no dissing in it. No nothing, bro. You feel me? It's just straight. We gotta get to this money. Right. You feel me? That's that. Yeah. Everybody can relate. Yeah, yeah, I'm fuck with it. Yeah, because yeah, when, 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 when you when you when you write something, when you write something that's really from the heart type shit, shit of course that shit gonna get you too. Oh, and it's gonna get the niggas who listening to it too, too, because they already know. Like, hold on, he kind of getting a little specific. He probably really, he really getting into it. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm trying to say? Um, so this kind of goes off the um performance question, but you feel like the pandemic has affected your music anyway? Um, as of right now, I would say because you feel me, we we now taking it serious. We just started for mm-hmm. me, uh, not as for me, not as yet. Right. Because we still for me, mm-hmm. starting okay. on the ground level right now. So it doesn't affect nothing. Gotcha, gotcha. Got All right. Um, now ask your favorite song to perform. Question. So how you feel the internet has impacted the music industry? How I feel the internet? Yeah, has impacted the music industry. Um. <laughs> I, feel I feel like, like the internet, internet is one of the, the most, most important keys in this music industry. Okay. Because without the internet, people stuff not really going as global. I wouldn't say. Right, right. You know, because it's like think about it. From between Snapchat, Dub Smash, TikToks, um, yeah, Trillers, all of that. That's like how new, many people getting known off of that. Yeah, that's the new music video trailer. Trailer is literally like you want a music video trailer. Make Trilla. a trailer, put all your niggas in it. That's your music video trailer. Actually, like real music video. Oh, the yeah, okay. Trailer, TikTok, TikTok is getting people blue checks on Instagram right now. TikTok is getting famous, stupid famous. TikTok is getting niggas rich, famous movie stars. Like, I, I'm not, I ain't gonna lie, I'm not really into that TikTok wave. The trailer wave, but the TikTok. I fuck with it because sometimes you really gotta integrate yourself into it. You gotta really, but. I, like, I, could I could watch, watch it, but like, like I'm not really into that way, like, like to make TikTok. TikTok. A trailer? Alright. Nah, I ain't really made no TikToks either. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> yeah, we. Alright, bet. So, um. I mean, I kind of yeah, asked some, some of these questions already. Um, alright. So, so, where do y'all see yourself in five years? I'm gonna let y'all go second. Yeah, you go first. Five years from now. And do you see yourself still in the music industry? Five years from now. For me, what, yeah, because for me, as a 2021, you feel me, it's supposed to be my year this year. Mm-hmm. Taking it serious, I'm not looking back, pushing the music. So five years from now, I should be a successful rapper okay. with other businesses, you feel me, that I want to have also. Got you, got you. I ain't trying to keep on um, on the music shit. I'm just trying to invest, invest my money, so you feel me, save my right. money so my money can save me type shit. Mm. Like that. Talk that shit. shit. I like that line right there. I don't think I ever heard that. I'm trying, I'm trying to, to save my money, money so my money, money can save me. Oh shit, bro. No, right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so where you see yourself in five years? Do you see yourself still in music? Yeah, five years. Hopefully, I'm more better lyrically mm-hmm. and, you know, flowing wise with, my mu- with this music thing. I'm going to be pushing hard for the music, for real, for real. Music is everything right now right. for me. So I'm going to just keep pushing. Hopefully, like, I can, I can start my own business, too, you know. Okay. I'm trying to get, start our own label. So yeah, that's what, that's the way. This is under us helping push that, too. So, you that's know, a fact. That's the way. That's the way. And I ain't gonna lie. Especially because you get paid and you pay your artists and everybody start getting paid. Then your artists start paying you, like. That, that's, that's that's the pool right there. But you need some fine niggas on that shit though. Yeah, facts. Cause we still we still got we still got like two three other members. Right. And then you shout out shout out GG Glass shout, shout out Boomer shout out my son Jay Jizzle. You know we got a few other homies in this to the money shit. Gotcha, gotcha. Got you. All right. Um. So I mean this kind of goes with that question too. What's the next moves for y'all in 2021? 
for this year, before the even fire year comes. This year is a year of elevation. Okay. You took too many losses in 2020. Mm-hmm. The same thing could happen this year. Right. You just gotta play it smart. Mm-hmm. All you gotta do is just play it smart. But for me, man, this year is the year of our elevation. As I said, we shooting a video every month, the least. Mm-hmm. Video every month. That's it. That's that's it. We in the studio working hard. You feel me? And we just trying to elevate with this music shit. Okay. Like six months from now, seven months from now, I want to, you feel me, probably do another interview with, with great news about this. Yeah, music. yeah, facts. This person hand me up. You understand? Yeah, facts. I'll definitely bring y'all back up in a couple months. Especially like, sit like down the line where y'all got more shit out. Facts, facts, facts. So, um, what's what's what, what's on the, what's on the back burner, man? What songs is on the back burner? Uh, man, what videos is on the back. Well, we just shot, we just shot, um, my Dolly, my Dolly track on a mission. Okay. You know, we just shot that like a few days ago. That soon dropped. Right. Um, we got a few other, we got a few other tracks, man. Hey, he got understand. That's his okay. Dolly track. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. My son Guma got stay tonight. I know my son GD got some heat coming too. Um, yeah. Okay, okay. I yeah, like that. that. We got a few tracks, man. We, we, a few tracks. All right. All right. Um, yeah, I was to say that, you feel me? See, I got a lot on the back burner. Yeah. It's, it's a, a lot of shit on the back burner. Yeah, facts. I like, I like that. I like that. I like the work. I like the work. I like how you kept mentioning it just getting better lyrically. Yeah. That because a lot of people be forgetting that part. Like, oh, I'm really nice, but I like how you kept mentioning that. I like how you mentioned the shit about the other businesses. So, when y'all together as a group right now, y'all keep going, which I got going. I think that shit gonna be crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all powerful. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I'm fucking with the music heavy. Appreciate that. Feel me? But um, I think this concludes the interview. I'll let y'all shout out on Instagram and say y'all last. Goodbye. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. So do it like that. Facts, facts. I'm my Instagram, B-O-S underscore 11, proper spelling, E-L-E-V-E-N, 74 at the end. Numbers. So that's B-O-S underscore 1174. Yes, sir. You can follow me on Instagram at ja.flacco, flacco with two Cs, F-L-O-C-C-O. Ja.flacco. Facts. Shout out. So yeah, exactly. the most hated interview. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. We here, man. We here. My boy got us up here. We here. We live with it. I right, bet. Until, Until next time. time. Fact. See, I think we got one. I already know, man. To the money and the team, man. Stay tuned. It was all of them nights We was trapping, trying to get money right Duck and swerve when you see them blue lights Mama hoping, praying that I do right All these bitches trying to be by my side None of these bitches out here gonna ride So I'm not wasting no more of my time Came to my senses and I realized I realized I had to hustle, nigga I had to go and get it out the mud It was just me and my brothers We came from the gutter Yeah, trapping, nigga, as we should Made a few plays and got back Started stacking on racks All this money looking as it should Over one day and take me out the hood All bills paid, mama love God Shit wasn't easy, it was L after L that we took when that shit was on repeat But we stay true to our goal, we believe this Humble and focused and started succeeding Dripping the Zonic, can't find us on need Every step that I take feet look like it's bleeding Snakes on my collar, yeah, we looking like we eating I'm married full of money, see a nigga, now she feeding I see a cash up, I need a receiver I ain't even know that his bitch was an eater Fuck nigga mad cause they think that I beast I was thinking about that money, not the pussy you could keep up At the 2020, try me right up in a bed And he fought those cruisers, spiking like a hefty Rollin' with the Nike, just a nigga try to test me Pull up, windows drop that shit where some mother ain't playing, nigga, man, I'm packing my bag, that's for sure, we gon' run it up All my pizza, my fallen of soldiers, it ain't up in the sky, and for them, we gon' pour it up I done been through some battles, nigga, but I stay ten toes, that's a fact, I ain't folding up Niggas out here be ratting, nigga, they can't handle the pressure, we see them just go for a fuck that Tell my niggas been around, we gon' push that we don't even give a chance for them to bust back Straight flame from the flop, we gon' run them off they block But they cap it for the bitches, I don't like that But I like that, so I figure why he mad cause he wiped that Tell him go and get some breasts, but niggas really fat We be running up the hundreds, get a light pack We was all them nights, we was trapping, trying to get money right Duck and swerving when you see them blue lights Mama hoping, praying that I do right All these bitches trying to be by my side None of these bitches out here gonna ride So I'm not wasting no more of my time Came to my senses and I realized, I realized I had to hustle, nigga I had to go and get it out the mud It was just me and my brothers We came from the gutter Yeah, trapping nigga as we should Made a few plays and got back Started stacking on racks All this money looking as it should Hoping one day it take me out the hood All bills paid, mama love good